Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about five things I really didn't expect when I moved to Florida. Hi, my name is Mark and I recently moved to Southern Florida from Wisconsin. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face in the corner to subscribe and ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. As a new transplant to Southern Florida, there are some things I just didn't expect when I moved here. Oh, there were a lot of things I did expect. I expected the weather to be nice, even hot, even really, really humid in the summer. But what I didn't expect were the wildfires. Just this week, there were no fewer than three wildfires all within a few miles of my house. And they're kind of scary because you go outside, you go into your lanai where I am right now, and you smell that smoke and it gets into your nostrils and it gets into your throat. I was coughing a little bit. I really wasn't seeing the smoke, but I was smelling it and I was feeling it. But what was really unexpected was how much the soot accumulated in my screens. When I look on the walls, I don't really see any soot, but when you wipe down the screens, you can see black in the rags. I really didn't expect that. But on a positive note, it's early June as I'm recording this and we're moving into the rainy season. I guess to a certain degree, I can say I really didn't expect that as well because I expected it was already going to be raining by this time. Since we moved here about three months ago, it only rained two or three times. It's been very, very, very dry. But now, over the last few days, we've been getting rain in the afternoon, so hopefully it's gonna help those wildfires, and we're going to fall into the pattern that I kind of expected when I moved to Florida, and that's a regular afternoon rainfall. Palm rats. Have you ever heard of palm rats? The first time I heard of palm rats was when I was in Hawaii. And I remember the residents in Hawaii telling me about the rats. They live in the palm trees. And guess what? We have them here too. I saw my first palm rat. And they're not really what you think. They're not these great big giant black Norwegian rats that you think of that you see in the movies. They're actually kind of cute. One of them got in my garage. I think the garage door was left open and it got in there. It didn't get in my house, but it was. I thought it was a mouse, but then I caught it and I thought, boy, this is an awful big mouse because they kind of look like that. They have white tummies and uh, they're kind of gray, but it's clearly not a mouse. And then I saw another one when the cleanup crew that was working for the um, landscaping people were coming through and they were dragging a lot of bushes and trimmings and stuff around and I saw a dead palm rat. And so somewhere along the way, I suspect it got caught in a lot of the things that they were cutting and, and the trimmings or whatever and it got just dropped as they were dragging things or taking them out to their truck. So just the idea that there are rats living in some of these palm trees is a little disconcerting. In fact, in my neighborhood, they don't even allow fruit trees because that is the palm rat's favorite food is fresh fruit. They don't even have coconut palms here. When I want to get coconuts, fresh coconuts, I go to a neighboring community. Shooting on the beach, Fort Myers, which is not the community I live in, but there tends to be a lot of crime in that area. And just recently, people got in a fight and someone started shooting on the beach. Now I know that there's violence and shooting everywhere, but I honestly didn't expect there to be shooting on the beach. Animals in my yard, look at my yard. It's not a very big yard. And some of you that saw my YouTube shorts video of the deer that came through here may have been as surprised as I was. I've seen the deer a couple of times now. Several bucks come through my yard, uh, big antlers. And recently the buck was in my yard and he was eating my hibiscus flowers. 
I mean, I was wondering, how come the flowers, they bloom and then they disappear after a day or two? It's because that rascal's coming through my yard and eating them. And while we're talking about wildlife, I saw an osprey several times on my neighbor's roof eating. Uh, I know that there's osprey near the water and there's nests and sometimes they, they even make um, nesting platforms for the ospreys. I didn't know there was going to be one right in my yard. That was unexpected. Something I didn't think I would see when I moved to Florida. And finally, real estate prices. They are just skyrocketing. My real estate agent told me before I even closed that from the time I made my offer and it was accepted until the time we closed, my property value has gone up 10%. And I looked on Zillow and that confirmed it if the Zillow estimate is any indication. So Florida is becoming a really, really popular state for people to move to. And I guess as a result, property values are rising. Probably not that way everywhere, but here in Southwest Florida, in the Naples area, the real estate prices continue to rise. So if you're thinking of moving to Southern Florida, do it quickly when you can still get in on relatively normal housing prices. I don't know how long it's going to continue to go up, but I would assume as long as people are moving to Florida and they need housing, uh, as long as the demand is greater than the supply, Prices are going to go up and they're trying to build new communities and they just can't keep up fast enough. As you know, building supplies are expensive right now as well. So there you go. Was that five things or six? Anyways, there are things that really surprised me when I moved here to Southern Florida. I hope you enjoy the video as always. I encourage you to like and share the video. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.